Hey there, it's Joyce, and I'm so excited that you're here watching this video. Today I'm going to share a very important revelation that I had uh, this year, actually in 2011, going into 2012. And the information I'm going to share with you today is so critical because it's the exact thing that helped me to realize what my goals were and exactly how to accomplish those goals effectively so that I could get the result I was looking for for 2012. And as many of you know, I'm going to be in a bikini competition come this spring and I really had to focus in on something that was going to keep my mind um, determined to achieve my goal and to step on that stage and just to do the best that I can. And you know, it's January and a lot of people right now are in resolution mode. And while that's good, you know, I, I have a little bit of an issue with a resolution and I hope it's not too controversial, but I hope that you receive it with love and everything like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. So typically everybody in the new year has this thing called a resolution, right? And hopefully you can see this on the board. We have a resolution and I have my little handy dandy notes here to share with you that a resolution is the act of resolving or determining upon an action or course of action, method, procedure, or whatever. So it's this, it's an act of saying, you know what, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. I'm going to start a business. I'm going to fill in the blank. And so it's this fill in the blank will be whatever you want it to be, right? So for this instance, let's just say I want to lose 10 pounds. Okay, so the good thing is that you're saying to yourself, I'm determined, I'm going to accomplish this goal, I'm going to lose this 10 pounds, no matter what happens, yay, right? And we all start out that way in January, but then something happens uh, right around the end of January going into February, where that resolve or resolution kind of dwindles in our, it fades into the background. And oftentimes it's something that pops up and we can't avoid it, you know, and before we know it, the resolution has become an epic fail, you know. Hope I'm not being too real with you that you can't handle it, but it becomes a fail. And that's just the truth. The problem with a resolution is this. There's not enough weight to hold this down. What I mean by not enough weight is you said that you want to lose 10 pounds, but there's a very specific key component to that statement that you need to put in that a lot of people miss, and that's this. Why? You don't know why you want to lose the 10 pounds. All you know is that the commercials are telling you that this is the time to lose weight. Tradition has told us that now is the time to lose weight. Maybe your dress or something like that, your pantsuit, something that you wanted to fit into. Oh, I need to lose weight and there's this rush. The problem is, is that a resolution is a re-solution. So you're telling yourself month after month, year after year, that you're going to keep coming back to this. And so it's like this psychology of the mind where you're ultimately going to end up on this side of the equation. But when you have more weight to it, when you understand why you're doing something, right? So for example, I want to be in good health because I have a lot of people like yourself that are counting on me to be the expert and to be the example of someone of good health. Because I love my clients and I love all the people that follow us here and check out our information, I need to make sure that those people are at the top of mind every day before I put a piece of food in my mouth, before I go and forget to do a workout. If I don't feel like doing it, I just say, you know what, they're counting on me. And that's that weight that I'm looking at. That's the thing that keeps me grounded and keeps me going forward. And this is what you have to do. If you want to achieve anything in your life, whether it's losing weight, starting a business, whatever the case may be, in this instance being in good health, you better know what your why is. You better know what that thing is that's going to keep you going. This is what I call a real solution. So real solution. Okay? It's real because it's something that matters to you. It's something that's important to you. Okay? 
and you want to take an inner look inside. Now, you may not be a spiritual person. You may not, you know, have faith in a higher being or anything like that, but it doesn't stop you from having inner desire and that voice, that small voice that we tend not to listen to that's actually going to lead us in the right direction. So you want to have an inner connection that lets you know, okay, this is what's important to me. My kids are important to me. My spouse is important to me. My clients are important to me. What's important to you that's going to keep you staying on track so that this, this fail doesn't happen? All right, and then once you have your why and you have your real solution, now it's time to take it to the next step. Now what you want, my friend, erase this so we have room, is a revolution. And that revolution is saying this, this is life changing. This is permanent. This is something that's going to shake and shift the atmosphere of my life. This is something that's going to affect people all around me, right? It's like dropping a pebble into a lake and then those ripples go out. How many people is this going to affect in your life? By you losing weight, by you being healthy, how many people are going to look up to you and say, I can do it too? See, when you take the focus off of about you and make it about other people, you're rewarded very well. And the people around you, their lives are changed forever. It's a revolution at this point. It's shifting. It's mind altering. It's changing the world around you as you know it. And it's changing it and shifting it in a positive direction. It's January 28th, 2012 in Newark, Delaware. I'm going to be sharing this principle and breaking it down even further. We're going to go really deep and narrow and find out what it is that might be stopping you from achieving your goals. We're going to find out and discover exactly what your why is so that you can have a revolution in your life and not only shift and change the atmosphere in you, but help shift and change the atmosphere in people around you. I want you to be there. If this is resonating with you, if this is speaking to your inner connection, I want you to join me on January the 28th in Newark, Delaware. I'm coming back home, but I'm not coming back home with a bunch of fluff and all this other stuff. I'm coming back with something revolutionary, and I call that my No Excuses Body Transformation Intensive. What does that mean? That means that everything I'm going to show you is going to knock out the excuses. It's going to take all the fluff out so that you can achieve your goals even faster and start changing your world. How's that sound? Does it sound good? Awesome. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned a lot. And if you did, leave me a message somewhere on this page and make sure that you click on the link below so that you can go over to the page where you can register to meet me on the 28th and learn more about having a revolution in your life. It's time for no more excuses, and it's time to take action. All right, I'm Joyce. I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.